Hello, welcome to this lesson where we're going to look at uh, probability questions that involve three diagrams. And um, maybe let me just give you this part so that you look at um, this is three diagram. Now I want you to look at this part here that talks about a three diagram is a uh, is a diagram that is used to solve problems involving compound events. Then the compound events. Compound events are defined here. Compound events are two or more events that together form one trial of an experiment. Okay? So let's bear that in mind about the tree diagram and the compound events. So there are two questions on the board. The two questions on the board that uh, answer our question. Okay, so we, we want to look at how a tree diagram helps us to solve um, questions that involve uh, compound events. Okay, we are talking about the uh, compound events are events that involve more, uh, two or more events that form one trial together. Okay, so if you look at the previous lesson, we're talking about um, if you've got um, like the example that we looked at, we said in a box there were cards and only one draw was made. Now, in these questions here, we're going to be talking about more than uh, a draw, which is just one draw or selection. So let's see what is involved. Let's see what is involved. And um, these questions do come in paper two. Uh, I think each question carries, uh, is it five or, yeah, five marks. So you have to make sure that the probability, you get to know it because it's a compulsory question in paper two. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> I want us to look at uh, the first question. I want us to look at the first question and see what is going to happen. Consider tossing a fair coin. A fair coin, you know, it's not biased. There is no side that has, like, it's given advantage over the other. It's 50-50. It's okay? So consider tossing a fair coin thrice. Thrice is three times. Okay? Consider tossing a fair coin thrice, which is three times. Okay? Now, draw a tree diagram that uh, shows, that shows all possible, okay, that shows all the possible outcomes. Draw a tree diagram that shows all the possible outcomes and find or list the, yeah, okay, the sample space. Then we are going to find the probability of obtaining three tails, at least one head. Okay, those are things that we are going to look at now here. So um, let's get the let's get the let's get to look at it now. So when we have um, if we have this case. This is the probability, okay? So, if you toss a coin, that is just one coin, you have two probabilities. I mean, you have two possibilities or you have two uh, expected outcomes. You have either the tail or the head. So, this is just a uh, one coin here has been tossed. So, we are going to expect uh, two outcomes. Now, since we are talking about a fair coin, which is not biased, we are only expecting two outcomes. So each one of them has got one over two. Even this one will have one over two. And here is just one coin that we are talking about. Please pay attention. Alright? Now, if we are talking about two coins, if we are talking about two coins, um, the second coin, the second coin is also tossed. The second coin is also tossed where you have got the tail or head. Okay? 
you have also 1 over 2, and even here you have 1 over 2, okay? So, um, if you want, <laughs> sometimes we can have like three independent uh, tree diagrams, but it's important to make sure that this one, we bring it, it builds up on what we already have. We know that this is the second what? This is the first coin that was tossed. And then the second, the second, okay? This is the second coin that was tossed and we are saying, if, okay, uh, okay, I'll explain this later. Then we have, also on this same side, we do the same thing. We have the tail and head. Uh, we have the tail and head. My space is getting consumed. Okay. Um, we have the first one, which is 1 over 2. Even this one, we have 1 over 2. Then here, we should also have 1 over 2, which is tail and head. And also here, we have tail uh, and head. Okay. Now, we are saying... Consider tossing a fair coin three times. So this, it is tossed here, as in the first one. Then when you make the first, the second toss, uh, you are expecting that you can have the first one. The, if the, because in the first one, we, we, we expect two outcomes. So we have the tail. And then the second one is the head. Then when we make the second toss, okay? We make the second toss. You expect that we can have, uh, if in the first one we have a head, I mean we had the tail, it's possible that even the second one can be what? A tail. And also it's possible that if the first one was a tail, the second one can be a head. So that is why we have these two options here. Okay? Even here, we can have in the first one we had the head and in the second one we have a tail or in the first one we have a head and also in the second one we have what so this is what was so it's like this is a second toss that was made here all right i hope we are we are getting the concept on what i'm explaining here it's very important that you get to understand these things as i'm explaining them okay so we have the first toss here this one this part this is the first toss that was made and this one is the second one okay so if we were talking about uh, a coin uh being i mean a, a coin consider tossing a fair coin twice we were going to end here and these are the uh, possibilities that we're going to be expecting it were going to end here and the do not forget that even all these, we still have 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, even here. Okay? Um, even here. Oh, yes, we still have 1 over 2 throughout. Okay? So, we have... Um, Let me take note of this part. The space that I have here is a bit limited, so I'm trying to create enough space so that you are able to see what I'm talking about properly. Okay, so we're saying here we're going to have the first one, then here we're going to have the second one, okay, then the third one is where you have. Even here, even here, it's getting to be a challenge. We have the first one, the second one, second one, and here we have the third one, and here we have, the, and then here we have, the, okay, so something like that. This is good now. So we have the first one, head or tail, I mean tail or head. The second one, we have tail or head here. And this is also tail. This is head. This is tail. This is head. This is tail. This is head. This is tail. This is uh, head. 
this is head here, this is tail. Now we are saying this one, I already explained, this is the first toss that was made here for this one. Then the second one, I was explaining that we can have a case where if the first one was a tail, the second one can also be a tail. If the first one was a, a tail, then the second one can be head. And then here, if the first one was the head, the second one can be tail or the second one can also be. So it's throughout we're going to have this case. 1 over 2, you know, we, we only expect two outcomes. In here, 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2. Okay, so what are we expecting here? We have tail, 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 the first one. And the second one we have got tail, tail, and the head. I hope you are following. Then this one, the third one we've got tail, head, and tail. Okay, then there's this one. This one, we have tail, take note. Which is tail, head, 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 head. Okay? Then we come to this one. Where we have head, tail, and tail. Then we have head, tail, head. Then we have head, head, and tail. Then we have head, head, head. These are the... This is the sample space. These are the outcomes that we're expecting. You remember there was a question that was talking about sample space. These are the ones that we're expecting. These 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sample space. This, we have, if you want to list them, this is the samples. These are the, the total number of uh, expected outcomes in a trial. It is these ones here. Okay, you remember in the previous lesson we, we discussed those terms. So, the sample space, these are the ones that we're expecting, the total of them here. Alright? These are the ones that we're expecting. Okay? So, um, we, have, we had a question that I was talking about now. Given this case, uh, uh, what was the question? What was the question? Okay, so we're saying there was a question that was talking about sample space, so these are the ones, because we're saying sample space is it, the total number of possible outcomes in a trial. So these are the ones. These are the ones that we're expecting here. One, two, three, four, five. These are the ones here. Okay, so then we come to... Uh, what was this question? Okay, find the probability that... You, the coins, both of them are going to turn. I mean, all of them, the three of them, they will turn. Or we are going to obtain three tails from the uh, tossings. Okay? That we are going to have three tails. Find that probability. So the probability that we are talking about for the first question, the probability that we are talking about for the first question is the probability of triple T. It is the probability of triple T. Probability of T, T, and T. And this is the first one, the second one, and the third one. Okay? So, this gives us 1 over 8. The same thing you've seen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, the expected outcomes. <laughs> okay. So, now... Um, what are we looking at here? What are we looking at? The first one, that is the, our answer. The possibility that we are going to have three tails on all the tossings, the three of them. This is the, our probability. Okay? So now we go to the third, D, I mean to the second question. Uh, under A, which is talking about the probability of obtaining at least one head at least one head so at least one head i'm sure you know what it means one head must be for a head it's a must so we a head must appear in that probability so any of these outcomes where there is a head 
it means that part does qualify. At least one head, one head or more. Okay, so if there is a part where we do not have, uh, uh, we do not have head, I mean that part does not qualify. So at least one head. Do we have the head here? No. So this doesn't qualify. Here we have. Here we have. Here we have. We have. We have head. We have head. We have head. So at least one head. So it means all these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All these do what? All these do qualify. All these do qualify. So the other way that we can do this is where we are going to add the probabilities of all these. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. We add them together. They are going to give us our answer. So you can try that. You know that when you multiply all these, all of them, they will be giving us, I think, 1 over 8, 1 over 8, 1 over 8. I think all of them will give us 1 over 8, 1 over 8, 1 over 8. Okay? Then you add them. When you add them, I'm sure they're going to give us 7 over 8, if I'm not mistaken. So, the other way of doing it, which is even shorter, you know that all these probabilities, when we add them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, when we add all of them, they should give us 1. Okay? Because that's the total probability. They should give us 1. Now we have 1, which we do not need, because we are saying at least 1 head. So this part doesn't have a head. So we can as well, the other alternative, if you don't want to add all these seven, the other alternative could be the probability where we have that, uh, we say one minus the probability of what? T, 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 T. Because this is tail, 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 tail. Probability of triple tail. You subtract this one. Because this we don't need. The rest that have remained, we want them. So you have got two ways of handling this question. The first one is where you can find all these. These All of them will give you 1 plus 8, 1 plus 8, 1 plus 8. And there are 7. So you can add 1 plus 8, 1 plus 8, 7 of them. That is one method. Then the second method is this one. So you are going to say 1 minus this part which you don't want. So it will be 1 minus 1 over 8. 1 here. 8 is 8. We have 8 minus 1, which is 7 over 8. This is the answer for at least one head. At least one head. This is the answer for at least one head. Okay? I hope this question has been covered. Please make sure that you subscribe. There is a red button there that talks about subscribe down there. Hit that button. Please give us some comments on how best this thing can handle or on how much you are benefiting from the lessons, okay? So, we continue and we look at the second uh, lesson. We look at the second lesson. So, let's look at the second lesson. Um, a box. A box contains what? Three red balls, three red, five black, and um, two green. Two balls are taken at random, one after the other, without replacement. Without replacement. Take note of that. If it is with replacement, anything that you take out of the box, you take it back. So there's nothing that changes on the on the draws that you are making. I'm going to emphasize, I'm not going to present a lesson on the... So the question that we are handling is, draw a tree diagram to show all the possible what? Outcomes. So I want to get rid of also this part so that my, my tree diagram is not what? So the tree diagram is... Um, I'll start from here. This is how my tree diagram is going to look. Uh, so we have what? Uh, what was this one? Red, black, and green. 
the probabilities. Remember the first lesson that we made. Okay? What is the probability that we are going to pick red from this box that has... So, red we have 3 over... What is the total? We need to find the total here. The total is what? 10. That is the probability for red for the first one. So, we are going to say 3 over 10. I hope you are following that. Then, uh, the second one is um, 5. 5 again for... Black, it's going to be 5 over 10. The last one, it's 2 for green. Green is going to be 2 over 10. So it's the same thing. When we add these three probabilities here, they should give us 1. Okay? Now, these are the first draws. These are the first draws for red, black, and green. Okay? Now we want to, two balls were drawn one after the other, without replacement, without replacement. So let's look at the second one. Now we are saying, again, this will be red, black, and green. If, if, okay, Please follow me. Uh, if the first ball that was drawn, if the first ball that was drawn was uh, red, it means the total number, it means the total number of balls, you have got red, red and red. You have got black, 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 black and black. Then you've got green and green. So if the first one that was drawn here was red, it means the total number of red balls in a box have reduced from 3 to 2. And also the total number of balls in the entire box have reduced from 10 to 9. So this one drops also down by 9. Okay? And when we come to green or to black, the black are still intact because the first one that was drawn was what? Red. So the black, they will still remain at what? 5. So it's 2, 5 over 9. The total number is reduced because red was removed here. And then green, it's the same thing. They are still intact. It's 2 over 9. This is it, green and black. The same process, we are going to do it here. Red, black, black and green. Now we are saying red, back. If the first ball that was drawn here, the first ball that was removed, was this green, what has happened to the red? Red is still at 3, but the total number is 9. Black has reduced from 5 because the first one was drawn here. Then now it's 4 over 9. I hope you are following. Green is still intact. Green is still intact also. Then we come to the last part. I have red black and green if the the black is back black is back if the first ball that was drawn was green it means this one is no longer there so green has reduced from 2 to 1 over 9 the total number has also reduced this one was still at 5 over uh, 9 then this one will still be at 3 over 9 i don't know are you able to see to see are you able to see these things Okay, okay. Right. So now, uh, we continue. So, having done, this is a tree diagram that we are required to do. And this is the, the first draw that was made. This one, it's the first draw. This is the first draw here. And then this one is the second draw. If there's a third draw, again, we'll repeat the process on each and every one of these. If there was a third draw. Okay? And if you are given me, Two, uh, two colors. If you're given two colors just in a box that contains red and green, you're going to have red and green. Even here, red and green. Even here, red and green. That's all. Okay? Here we have three arms because the colors that we're dealing with are three. We have three, but then the draws were two. So we have the first draw and the second draw. But if you have got two colors and then there were two draws that were made, 
This is how your three diagram is going to appear. But again, if you've got two colors, then three draws were made. This is the first draw and the third draw. I mean the second draw. So the third draw will appear here. Okay? You have just to make sure that if there is um, no replacement, you keep reducing the, the number of balls. So like here, if there was, if the question did not say, if it is with replacement, if it is with replacement, with replacement, anything that you take out, again, you take it back. So there will be throughout it will still be the same, like this. Throughout, even here, they will be the same because nothing was tempered with. Okay? I hope we are following. These are questions that you expect in paper two. So we look at now. We have drawn. So the first one, what are we expecting? We have red, red. The second one, we have red, black. We have red, green. This one, we have black, uh, red. And this one, we have black, black. Then this one we have what? Um, this one we have black, green. And this one we have green, red, green, black, green, green. Okay? This is what we are expecting here. So, um, we look at the questions that are following now. We look at the questions that... Find the probability of taking balls of the same color. 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 We have these ones because the color has not been specified. We have just been told that balls of the same color. Not that both balls are black. They have just said balls of the same color. So balls of the same color. This one qualifies. This one qualifies as well as this one. So balls of the same color. We are going to look at um, balls of the same color. We are going to look at the probability of R R plus the probability of B and B plus the probability of green and green. Okay? So, these are the probabilities that we are talking about. So, the first one, the probability of it is going to be uh, the first one. It is these ones. This and this one. So we are using the fractions that are here. The first one is 3 over 10 multiplied by 2 over 9. Like this. Then the second one. Maybe we can ignore the piece. The second one now it's BB. It's 5 over 10. 5 over 10 multiplied by 4 over 10. Plus... This one we have 2 over 10 multiplied by um, 1 over 9. This is 9 here. Okay? So these are what we are expecting now. So we simplify. When we simplify, what do we get? You have just to simplify. This is going to be uh, 6 over 90 plus 20 over 90 plus 2 over 90. Then we add, you know, how do we add fractions? When the, uh, when the denominator is the same, when the denominator is the same, we just add the numerator, isn't it? So we're going to have 28 over 90. Okay? So if you want, you can begin to simplify this, or you try to see if you uh, okay, 2 here, 2 here, what do we have? We're going to have 14. 2 here, we're going to have 45. Okay? So, this is what is going to be our answer for the first one. This is what is going to be our answer for the first one. Balls of the same color. Balls of the same color were not specified. So, this is what we're saying. But if they say D, the probability of obtaining what? Maybe black. Both balls are black. It will just be this one, which is this, this part just. This and that. That's all. But the same color, the color hasn't been given. This is what you're supposed to do. But they say both, you, you make two draws and then both balls were ready. You're going to go with this one just. 
okay? You multiply these, all these have to be multiplied. But if there's a difference, you are bringing this and this one. There should be an addition in between, okay? So, um, we look at the other question. We look at the other question, which is, um, what is this question now? Uh, eh? Balls of different colors. Balls of different colors. Now, it's the opposite. It means, it will mean, all these, they are balls of what? Of different colors. So, all what I'm going to do here, to get balls of different colors, I'll just subtract those balls of what? Uh, the same color from one. So, what did we get? I think it was 14 over 40, 45. 14 over 45. So I'll subtract. This is it. 45. Um, 45 here minus 14. What do we get? 1. Um, and 3 over. Okay. I think this is what we get. For the second one, this is what we get. This is the, the easier way. The other way is where you get all the probabilities, like now, like what we did. You get this one, the probability of this one, plus the probability of uh, this one. Again, you bring this one. All these others, this, 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 and this, you add them together like what we are doing. You first multiply this by that, plus you will get the same answer. So, Another one which is easier is where you subtract those same colors because we don't need them. You subtract them from one. You'll be able to get the answer that I wrote here, which is 31 over 45, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So, balls of different colors. The first ball, the first ball, black, and the second one. It's first one. It's it's a straight one. The first one, the first ball must be black. So we have black here. The first ball should be what? Black. And the second one must be what? Green. So we have B G. That's all. The first one must be black, and the second one should be what? So it is the probability of black being the first one, and then. Uh, green being the second one. So we just say this is 5 over 10 multiplied by 5 over 10 which is this one then multiplied by 2 over 9. What are we getting? 10 over 90 which is 1 over 9. Okay? It was straightforward. It was very straightforward. The first one should be black. The second one must be uh, green. Then one red ball and one green ball. One red ball and one green ball. Regardless of the order. One red ball and one green ball. Regardless of the order. So we're just looking at where we have red and green. Where we have red and green. This one we have red and green. This one, we, because of black, so we can't have. This whole part is not there. Then he, Ready and the green. Ready and the green. So it will be the probability of R G or the probability of G R. Okay? This is what we're where one is ready, the other one is green. One is ready, the other one is green. Okay. So what are we saying? This probability of ready. And green. It is what? 3 over 10 multiplied by 2 over 10. Red and green. Plus, we come to this one now. G, it's 2 over 10 multiplied by 3 over 9. Okay, this one, green and red. So this is going to give us what? 6 over, sorry, sorry, so this is supposed to be 9 here. 6 over 90 plus 6 over 
90, which is giving us 12 over 90. And then we can simplify this one. Uh, what, using what number? Let's start with 3. 3 here, 4. 3 here, 30. 2 here, 2. 2 here, 15. Uh, 15, yes. So this is what is supposed to be our answer here. 15 over 2. Supposed to be 15 over two okay i spent um i hope you got the concept and i had to try by all means to make sure that we get the concept so i've got um, a couple of a number of questions that you're supposed to do i have a number of questions that you are supposed to do here the first one is um this simple question i'm giving you questions from past papers question b there have you looked have you seen it question b okay Copy that question. I also have another one here. It's question B. You've seen where this question comes. It's always question one. B. You've seen it. Do that question. Do that question. Um, do that question. Do that question. Do that question. I'll give you also there's this one. You've seen where it comes mostly, it's here. These questions are just there for your, make sure you practice. Let me also give you um, uh, I'm still giving you some more questions. But they are the same. The concept is the same. Okay. The concept is purely the same. Let me look at this one also. I've just given you a lot for your practice. Is it clear? It's not. Okay. Let me... Okay, okay, okay. Let me put it nicely, don't worry. Uh -huh. This question here. It's like it's not very clear. Uh -huh. This one. Okay, um, maybe you would want some more from the, just for you to make sure that you practice. Um, there are a lot of them here. Um, just for practice. Um, you can look at question four. Uh, I mean, question five here. Question five here. Look at question five. Question five. Look at question five. Uh, yes, and uh, what else? Question. Uh, Seven. And seven. Okay, I think these are enough. Thank you very much for watching. Now I'm going to present another question. Um, the next lesson will be on the tree diagram, but it will be involving a question that has been given, probabilities have been given in fractions. Another one will be where probabilities have been given in decimals. Okay. Thank you so much.